The Mini 2 has just officially released on the 4th November 2020. Are all the differences worth the upgrade if you are a current owner of the Mavic Mini? This video is all about personal opinion. I will only be comparing the important differences, benefits or maybe not, and some opinion on the normal real-time usage as an end consumer. Ultimately, it all depends on where and how you utilize it. Let's start off with the least interesting differences for me. Maximum takeoff altitude. The Mini 2 has a max takeoff altitude of 4000 meter and increased by 1000 meter compared to the Mavic Mini, but I think this does not concern most of us unless the only place you plan to fly is at that kind of altitude range or you plan to use the drone with your mountain hiking or climbing activities. Battery. The Mini 2 Intelligent Aircraft battery is using lithium polymer, while the Mavic Mini is using lithium ion. Some said lithium polymer needed more special care and storage, much better and so on, while the others say otherwise. Regardless of that, the Mini 2 does come with auto discharge function to prolong the lifespan of the battery and prevent swelling. So if you plan to keep it for a while, remember to fully charge it a day before your flight. A new aircraft battery cost for the Mini 2 is 55 USD, 10 USD more than the Mavic Mini battery. I think that's still considered affordable. Otherwise, I would probably put it on the no-no checklist. As for the remote control, it is rated at 5200 mAh, double the capacity compared to the Mavic Mini at 2600 mAh. Based on the given data, with Android devices, it should be able to last about 3 to 4 hours and with Apple iOS, about 6 to 7 hours or so. That's pretty long. The size of the remote control unfortunately has become one of the consideration for me as I'm a light travel person. That's why I ended up with this small little Mavic Mini that is close to perfection for the value and things it can do. I really love the size of the Mavic Mini remote control. Maximum flight time. A rated 31 minute flight time may sure while flying at 17 km per hour in windless condition, while the Mavic Mini 30 minutes may sure while flying at 14 km per hour in same windless condition. So if to compare both flying at the same speed, I think the flight time is a little bit more with the Mini 2. But in reality, with mild wind condition and entire variable aircraft operation, I think it should be around averagely 24 to 28 minutes with the Mini 2, compared to the average of about 23 to 27 minutes I got with my Mavic Mini. Just a little bit improvement. Satellites. This will be the first cheapest DJI consumer drone to have Galileo satellite or whatever it pronounced added together with GPS and GLONASS. A little bit of research showed that Galileo satellite is much more accurate to about 1 meter plus minus. It would probably mean that the stability of aircraft hovering, home point marking, return to home landing accuracy, current aircraft location, flight path, find my drone location will be more accurate. But with the Mavic Mini, I think it still do pretty fine with GPS and GLONASS. Maximum speed. The Mini 2 is now rated maximum speed of 57.6 km per hour compared to the Mavic Mini at 46.8 km per hour. The only advantage of higher speed is to counter strong wind, or maybe you are in a rush to fly from one place to the other, or plan to chase a fast moving object, or maybe if you plan to convert it into FPV racing drone and give you the speed thrill. If that's your objective, it probably meant a lot. Other than that, in normal weather and wind condition with actual shooting scenario, that upgrade of speed is not really much of a concern. Another changes in regards to speed is the yaw rotation speed, quite useful for videography in default and mod, which is similar to the Mavic Mini P mod. It is only 60 degree per second and the value can be adjusted manually in the fly app to your desired speed. While the Mavic Mini with full stick input has a fixed speed of 130 degree per second in P mod, which is way too fast and will ruin your footage. So to improvise, just have to be gentle on the remote control stick while turning the aircraft. Wind speed resistance. The Mini 2 was rated to be able to handle 30.6 km per hour to 37.8 km per hour, while the Mavic Mini was rated at only 28.8 km per hour. Higher rated wind resistance is definitely a good point, but I will also need to consider in reality whether would I need that according to my usage 
and where I plan to use it most of the time. In our country, Malaysia, we don't often have such a strong wind or more than 28 km per hour most of the time. And if it does, it normally accompanied by rain after that, unless you love to catch some lightning, thunder, or rapid cloud movement shot. If that's the main purpose of getting a drone, this will be your main consideration factor and I think it's better to look at something bigger and heavier. They have much better wind resistance and stability to get what you want. I personally felt that the Mavic Mini can handle wind in our country pretty good for a safe flight, but not in perfect stability while recording video especially on close subject, probably due to the ultra light wet factor. Photo and video. Finally, the people wish for a raw photo is now available with the Mini 2 as it will extensively do better in post color grading compared to JPEG. Together with additional automation mode like the AEB, auto exposure bracketing, panorama, which can save quite a bit of time getting it done manually in post editing. So what's in for a video guy like me? A 4K resolution and 100 megabytes per second bitrate compared to the Mavic Mini of 2.7K resolution with 40 megabytes per second bitrate. Wow, that's great, but hold your horses. In order to benefit from 4K 100 megabytes per second, you probably need a higher end computer with better CPU, more core and threads, a middle to high end graphic card, a 32 gig RAM or more, SSD storage drive for write and read speed and probably more storage space needed to keep the footage. If you already have those in place, yeah, why not? And I saved the best for the last. AkaSync 2.0 Signal Transmission At the low interference area, it is rated 10 km transmission stability range for FCC in the United States and 6 km for the rest of the world with the Mini 2. Compared to Mavic Mini FCC, 4 km, and about 2 km for the rest of it. Now let me ask myself a question to this. What do you normally use the Mavic Mini for? 99% of the time I use it for video recording, mainly to blend in some aerial and crane shot for my travel log compilation video. How do you normally get the shot done? I will visit the place or location, look for some point of interest or a subject, and plan my composition. Try to stay focused on it, and hope that I don't lose so much detail to it as I'm still practicing on all of those stuff. Do you fly far and high often? I used to when I was new to the Mavic Mini and know nothing much about serious video editing. After a lot of exposure to hundreds of videos from the pro, mainly from YouTube as well, I then learned all those stuff bit by bit and found out that I'm more interested with a close-up shot. Occasionally, I still fly a little bit far and high for some B-roll footage or if the area I plan to expose is too big and needed some wide open shot. Will the AcuSync really benefit you? No doubt, AcuSync will definitely improve the signal stability especially the live feed on the mobile device as that is important when video recording and doing some maneuver. With my current interest of learning video editing, I probably won't fully utilize the benefits given. And in fact, the current Mavic Mini signal is much better now because I don't really fly far and high so often anymore. But of course, if you had your own reason for the improvement of range and signal stability, and you know you're gonna use it that way most of the time, there's no argument that the Ocusin would be the best upgrade point. Otherwise, maybe wait for another year or two. Maybe something better will be out by then since technology stuff is a never-ending chance. Meanwhile, keep the Mavic Mini to practice all the art of photo or video. That's all for my opinion. See you on my next video.